Hello, folks. Uh, this time the question is uh, from 2006, May, June, paper 1, and question number 14. So here I have a seemingly uh, easy question, but uh, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I always don't know why, because uh, students often uh, find uh, things difficult, which I think easy, and they find uh, things easy, which uh, I think might be difficult. So this question is uh, concerned with the chapter uh, uh, forces, uh, forces which deals about uh, torque and equilibrium moment. So it says that a force F is applied to a beam at a distance d from the pivot. So this is the pivot, the distance d, and force applies here at this point. The force act at an angle theta to the line perpendicular to the beam. So here is the catch here. This angle theta is formed by the force with the line perpendicular to the beam. So not with this, with this. Which combination will cause the largest turning effect about the pivot? So we have to find the torque or the turning effect. So tau is equal to F into R into sine of, sine of the angle between, sine of angle between, angle between F and R. So let's not use a theta or alpha or anything else. Let's use this. So here what we have is, if this is theta, the angle between the direction of this thing r, which is d here, this thing should be equal to 90 degrees minus theta. Because theta is the angle between the force and the perpendicular. So this angle should be 90 minus theta. So if so, the torque now here will be equal to F into, in place of r we have got d here, d, then sine, it is 90 degrees minus theta here. For this case actually, so it is F d cos of theta. So in order to have a larger tau or larger turning effect, I must have large force. So large force means that this and this disqualifies, this to qualify. I must have large d. So this both of these qualify. Uh, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, separate any, separate any other. And then comes, so in order to have large d, I must have, so if theta is equal to zero, cos theta is equal to one, which is the max value, max value, and uh, tau will also be equal to maximum. If theta is equal to 90 degrees, I'll have a cos theta is equal to uh, 0, which is the minimum value and which causes tau to be minimum. So that's why, since we need to have large tau, I must have tau max, which means theta equal to 0. So, so, so theta should have a small value, not large value. So it should be have a small value as shown, shown, shown by choice number B and choice number A disqualifies.